Hi, I'm here in the kitchen with Ming, and I'm so excited about learning how to make sushi. I don't know taste as good as his, but I'm sure going to try. Let me see how we get started. How, how are you? I'm well, great. Ming. I'm going I'm to teach you guys how to make sushi today. And what I'm, I'm going to teach you guys today is the, I'm going to teach you guys how to make spicy tuna. I'm going to first start with a sheet of seaweed. I'm can any my, can anyone buy that seaweed anywhere? Um, you, you you can easily get it from like locally Asian mesh like uh, supermarkets and stuff. Oh great! Alright, that's a start. Yeah, that's a start. I'm trying to put o uh, rice over the sheet. Just now, nice and easy. Do you have to treat that rice separately, or is it just yeah, regular I, ordinary rice? The, the the rice, I you know after we cook it, we have to put uh, vinegars. Um, rice wines and a little bit of a um, little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. So that's what makes it stick together, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this? I've been I've been doing this for for eight and a half years now. You must have started it too. <laughs> yeah, and I put a little bit of sesame over it. Is that sesame seed or yeah. crushed sesame? This sesame seed. Mm -hmm. Use. Isn't it funny when you see tuna, you don't think about it as being red, but it actually is, right? Yeah. Actually, there's there's so many different kind of tuna out there. Today, I'm using the yellowfin tuna. That's and the best, is it not? No, it's all right. Uh, usually, it's around, you know, $12, $13 pound. Why haven't you treat that knife like it were easy? <laughs> I try. So I, have, I, have, you know, as you guys can see, I, I chopped the tuna for a little mm -hmm. bit. Do you season the tuna, or just have it? No, I, I don't see uh, whatever is come with it, and I just cut them and trim them nicely, and 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 then just put them in the refrigerator nicely. It will be less a day or, or a day and a half or so. Okay. Obviously, you need special equipment to do this. This bamboo rack that he lays it out on looks like it might be. Uh, something that's difficult to create, but it really must do the trick. I believe that's what he's going to roll it up on. And what I'm having right here is the, the tempura, and just mix it with tuna. Ooh. Is that the regular tempura that you get when you have yeah. vegetable tempura yeah, or shrimp yeah, tempura? Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. And what's that? Uh, that is just, you know, uh, flour, mix it with egg yolks and, and a little bit of water, and, and we just, Like a know, mayonnaise? No, no, not, not really. And and whatever I put on top, that's mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Do you put any spice in the mayonnaise? Yeah, I, I do. Chili sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. Does that tempura make it taste crunchy? Yep. That's absolutely what we want. Try to try to do, make it crunchy and spicy. And that celery. Uh, no, now, that's just, I just explained to them how difficult this is, so we used, <laughs> what's the trick? Uh, that's a cucumber, and what we, what we do no, is... No, I meant the rolling part. What's the trick in the rolling part? And, you know, you have, for me, is you, have to, you have to make it even when yep. you do it, and you have to do it fast, so, so everything in the, in, in, on the inside won't fall out. Mm -hmm. Does it take long to learn to do it correctly? I, you know, usually when I start, I, I even cook rice for a year and a half, you know, I, I've been doing, I, I, and Jimmy will, will start teach me how to make maki for like another year. And so you're an apprentice. Now I understand you went to Quincy High School. Did you take any culinary arts in Quincy High School? Uh, I did just like one, one, one classes and all the teacher there is, is really nice. Good. She didn't teach how to make sushi though. No. And right it here. looks beautiful. And the green stuff right here is the wasabi. Mm -hmm. And here's the ginger. And here we go. You guys have a spicy tuna. That looks just delicious. That looks good enough to eat. In fact, it looks too good to eat. Thank you, Ming. It would be my pleasure. Thank you so much.